human interest. Work with David. I'm sorry. Maybe because I'm still a little drunk, but uh, who's this? <laughs> and why is he giving me decaf? He's not. Chad, everyone, everyone, Chad. Seriously? Chad? I was born there. Chad is our new intern. We had an old one. <laughs> and he also happens to be Alan Smith's nephew. Thanks. <laughs> My pleasure. Hang on. You're adopted. Uh, Damn. Angelina Jolie <laughs> or Alan Smith. Talk about the short end. <laughs> <laughs> if we could get back to this. Oh, glad you could. Um, this, what? everyone. Uh, we were discussing... Who's the kid? Chris? Better not to ask. Uh, this... Oh, Everything I don't right? know. Hang on. You know, I swear to God, those stairs. Terrorism? Chris? What? Cool. All right, let's, <laughs> let's all calm down. There, there's a guy on the phone. He's... Well... I think you've got to hear this for yourself. Are we under attack? Does anyone here remember Gareth Williams, a short guy? Is it serious? British? That's the guy. W worked with the first time in Iraq. Guy's a bulldog. Chris. Well, he's on the phone from Rome. I've been running through it upstairs for the past few hours. I can't even start how to get a taxi. You try getting a taxi downtown at 5 a.m. on Christmas Day. He's on the phone? What's he doing in Rome? He called me at home, said he didn't trust anyone else with it. Well, but what's he doing in Rome? He works there after Iraq. Could he someone clear the shit off this table so we can see the goddamn phone? Chris, has there been an attack? What? No! You're just gonna have to. I can't read it. What you know, if this is something I could do with the heads up, I'm drunk. You're gonna have to listen. I don't. Have All right, everybody, calm down, Chris. This isn't masterpiece theater. I'm, I'm not going into a conference call I know nothing about, and we're under time constraints. Is this for something today it's or? It's the lead. All right. Can you at least? Let's just, just do this, shall we? What line is he on? Line one. Gareth? Gareth, you there? Gareth, it's Chris Barnett. Who's that with you? Gareth, this is Sarah Ziegler. I'm news director of The Seven, the nine o'clock news. Chris tells us you may have a story. Did you? <coughs> Gareth, this is David Sachs. We worked together at CVS before the split. Gareth? Gareth, there's, there's a little time strain here against us here, so why don't you... Two years ago, the Vatican decided to, you know, pack up all this fighting on digital. I suppose, I don't know, I suppose the Pope or someone got wind of the internet. But anyway, that's what they did. Library cards, paper degrees, everything. Shipped into digital. I suppose they thought it would last longer. I don't know, you know. What's the, what's the story, Gareth? No, not sure what time it is there, but the clock is a little against us here. Anyway, so they packed it all up, everything. All the ages. Last I heard they were up to, like, way past the middle ages or something. Everything a Pope ever said, everything they ever would have backed on, on target. Yeah, what's this got to I'm getting to it! Would you just let me get to it? You need this. This is background. I can't just... Uh... Go on, Gareth. So there it is. Someone in the back could all back up in the basement, probably, you know. Every edict of the Pope, the Nazi, the Inquisition. There's been talking about it for years, of course. Rumors here, innuendo there. Surprisingly, what you find when you start scanning your phone. You there? We're here, Gareth. Go on. The whole thing with the grave at St. Paul was that. It was supposed to have come from there. Gareth, this is Bruce Baxter here. Just tell us what you got. Oh, hey, Bruce. No, no, no. <laughs> what have you got, Gareth? Now, actually, they took the whole thing off the grid. Very CIA, you know, like that, like that room in Mission Possible. Very high tech. Is this Baxter there? Emado. So, there's no engine from outside. No connection, no drives. But? Right, right. But, so, I guess people don't think priests need a lot of training in the secure setting of email. So, anyway, no one's sure what it is. I've got an email here talking about moving the body of Jesus. Sorry. <laughs> Gary, I, I think we've lost you here. 1942, they move it out of Rome. 1453, they move it overseas. Yeah. Okay, Gareth, listen, I, I think it's good. There's a lot of, you know, Da Vinci Code people who... No, 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 right here, right here. One of the priests in the scanning, or, or wherever it was, I guess... He got a pang of conscience because he's, you know, worried about defrauding the public for the last 2,000 years. He knows where Jesus was buried? The long and short of it, yeah. Okay. Hang on, Gareth. Uh, let me get this straight. You're saying that you have an email from a priest to his archbishop <coughs> saying he knows where Jesus is buried. He's got it. Yeah, well, 
Garrett, this is all very interesting, but seriously, the 20s failed. And no, he's got it. Chris, I... Gareth, I I'm sorry, but an email from a raving priest does not a story make. Yeah, because I've only been a journalist for 28 years. I've got a 500 year old letter from Pope Alexander writing about whether they should move the grave. I've got a signed edict from, what's his name, allowing the movement of documents to America, outbreak of World War II. And I've got a taped conversation with three priests who are not going to record with the whole thing, if you know what I mean. See, I've been a journalist for a while, so when I say I have it, I have it, all right. I went digging, I found the priest, seeing he's not the only one with a pan conscience, seeing the word of it is getting out. So we start gathering the information, taking the ones that have already been scanned, the originals. I've got to hold up in, in a B&B in print. Jesus. Dead, apparently. Just so we understand here, Jesus' <laughs> body. He is and always has been in a grave hidden by the Catholic Church. Where? He's not saying. Technically, I don't know you guys, but if you don't run this. Gareth, I'm going to put you on hold. All, the... All right. What are we talking about here? Fraud. Who are you again? No, he's right. Whichever way you look at it. Fraud. Perpetrated by the world's largest organization of the world's largest Stop religion. It's an email. It's what? Documents or something? So what? Let's go around the table. Chris? You trust this oh, guy? Oh, with this, yeah, yeah, I do. Man's got two Peabody's. Shit, I got a Peabody. Well, remember that thing in Iraq? Five guys decide to shoot up a town of Blackwater? Well, that was him. If he says he's got it, he's got it. All right, Al. Three things. One, and I'm saying that this is the real deal. One, we're going to get sued. Personally, collectively. By who? Catholics? The right. We are the right. <laughs> not once we do this, we're not. He's right. We're going to get sued for... Well, ruining everything! Okay, second. Second? We don't run this, someone else will. You can't be serious. There's a priest out there with a bunch of stolen documents and a conscience. We don't run with this, he'll go somewhere else. He's a whistleblower. Also, and I should add, we start not running stories our reporters give us, and we're not going to keep our reporters. You heard him. He's ready to jump as it is. All right, third. It's Christmas. So? You think it'll play badly on a Christian holiday? Badly? No. It'll end it. What? I'm not with you. It's Christmas. Virgin birth. God from man. Jesus didn't die. Jesus hopped on a plane and flew off somewhere, raised a family, and died happily ever He's supposed to have risen again. He's dead. End of the religion. Jesus <laughs> Christ. Not if he's dead, he's not. You're actually considering this. It's news. It's Christmas. I'm not sure I understand this. <laughs> Gareth? You're not running it. Why did you say that? I mean, you're a right-wing conservative station that answers to corporate. <clears throat> we are a right-wing conservative station that answers to corporate, Gareth. They still cut your checks, too. Like, I'm, not, I'm not saying we're not going to run it, but we're in the ninth inning. I understand? I need you to get me what you've got on the secure server. We've got tape. You got it? He said it this morning. It's good. And it doesn't say where he's buried? Come on, I'm just asking. Uh, I need you to send me your copy. I'll get it to you, Al. Al, how long's the New York piece again? 2.40. And I need you to get down. Gareth, I need you to get down to the Vatican. If we run this, and I'm saying it's an if, we're going to do two on the piece and 40 live from the Vatican, all right? All right. All right, uh, and I don't have to tell you to not talk to absolutely anybody about this, do I? Don't it's my job to worry. What just happened? We killed Jesus. 